Okay, this week we are talking about cameras for the Camino. Whether uh, it's your first Camino that you're planning or you've walked many Caminos, very often people are wondering about camera gear and that's what we're going to be talking about this week. Okay, so a few people on the channel have been asking what camera gear that I use when I'm on Camino. Uh, now, let me say firstly, I am not a professional photographer, videographer. Uh, I'm very much an amateur, uh, but I love to uh, record you know, trips that I'm taking overseas and particularly the Camino. Um, I love taking video on the Camino because I kind of use it like a, a video diary. Um, and it's great to, to look back on and sort of, you know, years later to, to see what the journey was like. So let's just talk about camera gear uh, very, very briefly. Now, depending what you want to take photos or videos for is going to determine the kind of gear that you take. Uh, one of the uh, videos that I love on the Camino, and I'll put a link down below, is uh, by a guy whose channel is called Overlander TV. He walked oh, probably a good 10 years ago and carried about 10 kilos of camera gear. So, I mean, he was, he's a professional travel videographer. Um, I don't want to do that. So on my very first Camino, I shot all of my photos and videos on my, cam on my phone camera. Uh, and that was a Galaxy Note 3. It was high definition, 1080p, so that, that was fine. Um, I did forget a couple of accessories which made it not as good as it could have been and I'll, I'll highlight those accessories. Um, I've talked to lots of other people who have um, you know videoed their journeys and in fact you know made virtually professional movies out of them. Uh, one that I really love his content is Father Johannes um, who is from Liechtenstein I think uh, and again I'll, I'll put links down below to his stuff his first video that I saw was a pilgrimage walk to Jerusalem, which I think was 5,000 miles or something. Um, and I contacted him afterwards because I, I was blown away with the quality of the, uh, of the movie that he created, documentary. Um, and he used a DSLR, a digital single lens reflex camera, sort of a semi-professional camera. I think it was a GH5. Um, and he had tripod and you know different lenses and all that kind of stuff. Um, what he said was he, he actually didn't take as much video as he would have liked because it was a pain in the butt to actually get it all out of his pack and set it up. So, you know, those are some of the things that you need to think about. And um, a lot of professional photographers, you know, if, if you follow any sort of online or read their material, um, whenever people say, you know, what's the best camera for any given circumstance, it's the one that's going to be easiest to use. Um, and for most people, it's going to be their phone. Um, so that's what I use. I have been very tempted um, to take, you know, much a camera with a much better capability. Um, an example of that, th this is very similar to a DSLR, it's what they call a micro four thirds. Um, so, you know, it's sort of a semi-professional camera, I guess you'd call it. Um, the things to note are, you know, a good sturdy um, little mini tripod. It's got uh, a microphone on the top, obviously, you can change the lenses, all that kind of thing. Would I want to carry that on Camino? No way. It's just too heavy. Um, and, and, you know, it's going to be in my pack and it's not going to be accessible. Um, I did toy with the idea of taking a camera like that. The one I'm using at the moment to film this is a Canon M50, which is a lot lighter and smaller than this. And I really love that camera. Um, but no, <laughs> I'm not taking it on Camino because it's too heavy and it's not accessible. I want to have something that I can just pull out of my pocket, you know, spontaneously. So um, I use <clears throat> phone cameras. A Galaxy Note 3 on my very first Camino in 2015. In 2016 and 2018, I used my Galaxy S8. Um, I'm very tempted to use this still for my next Camino um, for a couple of reasons. One, I love the Galaxy cameras. They are really, really good quality. The other reason is that, and all of the mobile man phone manufacturers have, are doing this now, um, this has a couple of features that mobile phones don't do anymore. One is I can put an extra memory card in here, a little SD card. So, you know, storage is not a problem. The other is this, I can plug in a microphone. 
um, most of the new mobile, mobile phones don't allow you to plug in accessories using that type of plug. It's not going to focus on that, is it? Never mind. Uh, it's a little three and a half mil standard sort of microphone jack, like a, an earphone jack. Um, I don't do those anymore. So you've got to carry adapters and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I think because the capabilities of phone cameras are so much better than even this one, I probably will upgrade the phone camera um, and it, it'll probably be a Galaxy again. I just like their cameras better than the iPhones. Um, so it's a bit of a problem. Uh, I want to use <clears throat> an external microphone. If you're taking video, you, you really must use an external microphone because the microphone on the on the um, phone is really not good enough. And audio on a video is almost more important than the visual. Um, you know, people will put up with um, video that, that's not top quality, but uh, if the sound is bad, it's very hard to, to watch and listen to. So this particular um, microphone that I use is from Rode. I love Rode. So there we go, it's a smart lav. I've got loads and loads of Rode products. I have so many of these because I give them to people at work <laughs> so to, for them to make, um, you know, sort of blog style videos for work. So these, these Rode microphones are brilliant. This, this one is designed to go into a phone. Um, you can tell the difference because it has three little rings on it. Um, a microphone that is designed to go into a camera only has two. Uh, so external microphone, really important. You know, that is so convenient, so light. Uh, that's the way to go. And the other really important accessory for a phone is uh, this one. And I'll put that up there again. So this is from Joby. It's a little gorilla pod for a phone, um, just like its big brother that I've got over here. Um, so easy to put your phone on. Uh, you can clamp, you know, this around a, a lamppost or on a fence. Um, you can stand it like a little tripod. Do whatever you like. It's really, really important to have your phone steady when you're taking video. There is, you know, this sort of stuff and taking video when you're walking along is very hard for people to watch. It's just jump, jumps around all over the place and, and people don't want to watch it. Very occasionally I'll, I'll take video as I'm walking. Um, and coincidentally, one of the reasons I may upgrade my phone is the image stabilization is better in the more modern phones. Um, but I try not to be moving with the camera if possible. If I am, I take it really gently. So camera gear, that's what I use. Um, I use my phone and uh, the little tripod and the little plug-in microphone. Um, I'm probably going to upgrade the phone and they don't have the capability now to put in extra memory cards. So it means I've got to carry this. Because, one, I don't think the capacity of the modern phones would last me for a whole Camino shooting 4K video. So I've somehow got to get the footage off the phone uh, and backed up somehow. Obviously, I, I do back up um, into the cloud as I'm going, but I go through so much data on the chips. I mean, I, I probably spend 500 euros on a Camino just on a SIM card data. Um, because, you know, yeah, you can, you can upload while you're in hotels and albergues and things, but sometimes the internet there isn't very quick and, and you don't want to sort of clog up the internet for everybody else um, just because you're uploading your videos. So what to do with um, <clears throat> the data? I'm going to use this little gizmo. Is it going to focus on that? No. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, who's that by? It's a Benfi, is it? Yeah, so basically that plugs into my phone and I can download the files onto a SIM card or a, an SD card, sorry. Uh, and that one takes both sizes of SD cards. So I think I'll do that. I'll, I'll, you know, see if I can get away with enough capacity on the phone, but I'll definitely back it up onto here as well. Because if I lose the phone, I, you know, I've lost all my video. Um, I don't care about the phone. I don't want to lose all my video, so I'll, I'll be backing up onto this. So there we go. Um, what camera gear to use on a Camino? 
all depends on the purpose that you're you're going to be using the camera for. Uh, if it's you know semi-professional stuff, then you probably want a semi-professional camera to to get the quality. Um, if it's really just for you and your friends and putting up on your blogs and things like that, phone cameras are more than adequate. And you've you know small size, lightweight, convenience. It's got everything going for it. There's really only two things that phone cameras can't do that these cameras can. Um, and this, those two things are pretty simple. One is the low light capability of a phone camera is not as good as a proper camera. Uh, it's just the sensor is so small. They're, they're just not that great in low light capability. Um, but I mean, this, this shoots 4K video, you know, and a fantastic quality video. Uh, just not great in low light. The other thing that phone cameras do not do well, although they are getting better, is if you want to create a bokeh effect. What's a bokeh effect? If you look at the background here, it's kind of a bit out of focus, so it makes the subject stand out from the background. That's the bokeh effect. Um, phone cameras are uh, not very good at doing that, again, because the sensor is so small. Um, and that's why I, I like shooting on the, uh, these cameras for making videos at home. But otherwise, yeah, uh, I'm taking my phone. I, I cannot ever see me taking anything other than a phone ever on a Camino to take video. Um, just no point. The weight, the inconvenience, just not worth it. So there you go. That's my recommendation. Just make sure you got the little stand and the external microphone, which I forgot both on my first Camino, which really annoyed me because I didn't have as good quality sound as I was hoping for. Uh, although I, I did manage to overcome the problem of not having this, I used a bit of elastic, which I would wrap around the phone like that and then put it around my trekking poles or around a fence post or something like that. So I was able to improvise um, some kind of stand to keep the, the phone steady. There you go, that's, um, that's what I would recommend, unless you're a professional photographer, just use your phone, make sure you've got a stand and a microphone. Thanks for watching, uh, and if you are new to the channel, um, why not think about subscribing? There's a subscribe button down there. Uh, I try to put up a video every week, because I'm a bit of a Camino fanatic, so I like to get one up every week, generally on a Tuesday evening, so thanks for watching. Uh, if you've got any other tips on creating um, video or taking photographs on Camino, Stick them down below because I'm sure people would love to hear. Bye for now.